My name's Murray Baker, and I am from Eustis, Florida. I have tremor-dominated Parkinson's. It was about four years ago when I found out, but we didn't know it was tremor-dominant. I did some research, and I had two MRIs. I had one four years ago and another one recently, and there was no changes in the brain, but the tremor had gotten worse. I started on medication, but it was not doing anything for the progression of the tremor. The tremor continued to get worse and worse. Actually, just trying the simple things like butting buttons on pants, it's very difficult. Um, putting on a pair of shoes, believe it or not, tying shoes. I feel like I've gone backwards. Um, I feel like my grandson has progressed forward and can do better at five years old than his grandma can at 67 years old. But I can still do the big things, which is riding my horses and working at the farm. As long as I'm moving all the time, I'm good. It's when I slow down, like I'm doing right now, and sitting here, that's when the shaking gets so much worse. I was on Facebook and I saw Insight Tech. When I read about it, it just clicked for me. Nothing else just seemed to have what I was looking for. And I'm one of these fix-it people. When I leg, my leg got broke, they fixed it. When my ankle got broke, I got it fixed. I'm just like, let's fix it and get it done. I have a two and a half year old grandson and I just want to be able to take care of him without having other people have to help me. So I'm looking forward to just, when my daughter calls and says, Mimi, can you take care of Reese? I'll be like, oh yeah, bring him over. This is the hardest part. Yes. Hello. I'm ready. Oh my gosh. This is unbelievable. So once Tara's done here, okay, uh, we'll take down those bandages, clean off the areas where you have the numbing cream, and we'll do an initial round of injections. We'll be putting the frame on here, and from there it's direct to the scanner, okay? Okay. We'll sit you on the table and we'll put on the membrane that's going to hold the water in place in the treatment field. The rest of you will get in whatever position is most comfortable for you and will cover you with nice warm blankets. You'll go into the scanner and you'll spend about 10 minutes there. That's the longest time you're going to spend in the scanner for the day. And that's doing initial scans and some targeting and processing and a few other things. You'll come out, we'll do some testing. You'll go back in, we will target the site that we're looking at with enough energy to stun it. If we see good tremor reduction with that treatment, then we'll know we're in the right spot and we'll turn up the energy. Then as long as everything's going well, we'll get you on your way. Yay! That was like being on a ride at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I didn't want to get off. <laughs> Guess you don't even notice it now. It's just so quiet. That's unbelievable. Carrie! What? Oh my gosh! It's my brother-in-law. <laughs> oh my gosh, Carrie, it worked! Yay! I have literally not held a cell phone. How long, Roy, has it been since I've held a cell phone? Months and yeah. months and months. So you're in there, you're, your head's all on some device, and you're zapping your brain, and you're wide awake, and you literally can watch your hands stop shaking. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, and it's unbelievable. It comes on so fast. It's like one minute you're shaking like crazy, and the next split second, you feel a calmness, like it's just like warm water running over your body. You just feel a calmness, and you just completely relax, and it just, it just stops shaking. It's unbelievable. Wow. I mean, there's like nothing. It's unbelievable. You should have a detailed conversation with your physician regarding the risks and benefits of treatment options prior to treatment. The most common complications reported by subjects in Insight Tech-sponsored clinical studies after treatment included imbalance, gait disturbance, numbness, tingling, and headache, head pain. Most complications were classified as mild or moderate, and 48% resolved on their own within 30 days. Additional infrequent events included dizziness, taste disturbance, slurred speech, fatigue, and vomiting. Persistent complications at three years included numbness, tingling, imbalance, unsteadiness, gait disturbance, 
and musculoskeletal weakness. For complete safety information, please visit essential-tremor.com slash safety-information.